Hi y'all, it's Andrea over at SoSpire.com and I am here with the last video of 2019. This is a special edition of Behind the Seams with Andrea, which I publish on Fridays. Normally this is a blog post, but today I thought a combination of the blog post and the vlog was the best option because I have a lot of pretty things to show you as well as a lot of information to share with you. So I want to get started. So first of all, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and all of the gifts that you made from the handmade holiday season were well received. I'd love to know what your friends and family thought about the Sospire gifts that you made for them. So please do leave me a comment below or share with everyone on the Facebook group page. And I hope you are looking forward to 2020 because I know I certainly am. It's been really nice to take a little bit of time off. Of course, I haven't been resting. I was really busy filling custom orders for my Etsy shop. And I have here a stack of remnants these are just left over from just a few this is just a tiny stack of the remnants left over from my custom orders but i know you all love fabric as much as i do so i thought we would kick off with me just showing you some of these adorable prints that i have left over all of these prints are from hawthorne supply co and i'll put a link in the notes for you if you want to check out their selection that's where I get all of my fabric from. I'm asked that question quite a bit, actually. And these little remnants will be used in some of our tutorials this year. I think this, hands down, is my favorite print that I got to work with. This sassy little fox is so awesome. Okay, and then we have, this is really, really beautiful as well. A lot of these prints are exclusive to Hawthorne Supply Company. They actually print their fabric, and so that gives you a lot of options. You can choose what weight fabric you would like the print put it on. This is actually is Tula Pink. I'm sure a lot of you are fans of Tula. This is an original Hawthorne print. I thought these little Christmas trees were precious. And just a few more pretties to share with you. And then I'm going to tell you what I have planned for the channel in 2020. I'm gonna do things a little differently. Some things will remain the same, but then there's gonna be a few changes. And I wanna tell you about those. And then this last, oh, this gingham here too. That was a lot of fun to work with. This last fabric here is like a woven fabric, but this was really nice to work with. It's nice and thick. The only caveat is that that's going to fray, of course, because it's woven. So I hope you enjoyed looking at those fun fabrics. And like I said, you will see those again in our tutorials. So in total, in 2019, I produced 17 unique step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, there were three to five flops, I'll call them. Um, I didn't particularly like the finished product and the whole process just didn't flow well for me. So I didn't count those in the 17, but in total there were 17 tutorials that I was very pleased with that I produced and those were step-by-step -step sewing tutorials for you. Then there were five series which went on. Some of them, I think the longest one was two months. It went on and that was a handmade holiday series and there were 10 unique videos in that. There was also the tunic experience, the reuse, recycle, and repurpose series, and the pixie purse and pixie wallet, and then the everyday backpack series. So I feel like there was a lot of content produced in 2019 but there was not a lot of continuity between the content. So some of it, it was kind of a mixed bag. Some of the tutorials I was just authentically inspired to make. There was a need and I had the time and I could just create a new design and share with you how to make those. Some of them were requests. 
And so it was kind of just like I said, there wasn't a lot of continuity. We didn't really know what was coming next. So in 2020, what I would like to do is create more continuity with the channel and kind of frame it in and put up some boundaries for myself as to what content I will produce and what content I'm gonna to have to decline to produce. And this will allow me to bring more tutorials to you as well as higher quality tutorials and hopefully avoid those flops, right? So I have a little roundup here of the 2019 high points for SoSpire. The first is, as of this morning, we have 43,600 plus subscribers. Thank you to every single one of you for clicking that subscribe button. It is my absolute honor to design and create for this community. And hands down, this community is one of the greatest blessings of my life. And I so look forward to checking in with that group page and seeing everything that you all are making with these tutorials. There really are some incredible acts of kindness taking place as a result of these tutorials. And there are no words to express the gratitude that I have for you and for this community, really. Really, thank you very, very much. If you are not a member of our Facebook group page, you might want to consider joining that if you enjoy sewing the Sewspire tutorials. It is a wonderful group. We have moderators on the page who work really hard to keep that a friendly place. And I am so grateful for their help. They're doing an amazing job. Just one little tip in order to get into the group, which is a private Facebook group, you do have to answer the questions that are at the beginning of that. Otherwise the moderators will reject you from the group. So if that happens to you, just reapply and make sure you answer the questions, okay? The third high point of 2019 was I produced two sessions of AMC, which is my master class. That also happens to be my initials, Andrea's master class. So we just call it AMC and it serves double duty. In the first session of that, I conveyed my design methodology and then everyone got to design their own bag. In the second session of 2019, I let everyone customize one bag. And so I have that bag here to show you. This was it and it was called the studio bag. This was the one that I designed for myself and it is chock full of pockets. And then on the inside, there are four separate interior compartments. That's what I think makes it really unique. And that's where everybody had so much fun, was customizing all of their interior compartments. So that session of AMC was the third session that I'd ever produced, but the second one for 2019. The fourth session of AMC is going to kick off that first week of January on January 6th. And we're going to do a hybrid of all of the AMCs to date. We're gonna work around a central design that everyone can customize, but I am going to incorporate more of my design philosophy into that session of AMC. So AMC is only available to SoSpire patrons. If you're not familiar, Patreon is a platform where artists and creators can build communities and it is offered to people on a membership basis. I have three tiers on my Patreon page. The first tier are the 100 founding creative geniuses and there are there's no obligation with Patreon so you can, you know, drop off at any time and then come back at any time. So when people drop off from that $5 tier, spots open up. So currently there are two $5 seats or spots there available 
if you want to jump on to this masterclass, which begins January 6th, I encourage you to hop on over there and scoop up one of those two seats. And there are eight seats available for $10. That is the celebrator level. And again, the same thing happens. Spots will open up and then spots will um, fill up. For the last session of AMC, we did sell out. So I'm, I'm expecting the same for this session as well. New this year for the patrons, I am going to have a new masterclass every quarter. I'll talk more about the schedule later, but I did want to show you that bag since that is one of my high points for the channel in 2019. Um, my favorite memory of all of 2019 was our marvelously merry gift exchange, which happened on the 20th of December. I like for the first time in a really long time, I felt like a kid at Christmas. It was so much fun. No one knew who their secret elf was and I did not peek as the organizer. I could have and I did not peek and I'm so glad I did not peek. And so what happened was I received a big box from my actual elf and then a big box from another patron. And so I had no idea who was my actual elf. And so I was opening my gifts and um, just my mind was just blown how much they sent me and how beautiful these bags were. I have to show them to you. Okay, so Catherine, who was my elf, made me this bag and she has a company called Purse Reverence and I absolutely love Catherine's labels. Those are gorgeous. And she crafted this bag for me and still like I can hardly believe how gorgeous this is. Now she said that I am the person that taught her how to sew bags and I told her the student has become more gifted than the teacher because the craftsmanship on this bag is amazing. And I'm still so, so grateful for this, Catherine. Thank you so much. I know you're watching. Okay, so I got that. And then equally as special to me just because of the pure sentiment in this bag. And you'll know what I'm talking about if you've been around for a while. My friend, Suzette, who is also a patron, crafted me this awesome tote with the elephant on the front of that and a lot of you know the symbolism of the elephant and this Suzette told us was actually was a bed cover that she repurposed and cut up to make this bag for me so I will be carrying this with lots of love and in addition to that I hope you can see it here but if you can't I'm going to bring it down she sent me this beautiful hot air balloon sun catcher. So there's a lot of symbolism for me with the elephant and with the hot air balloons. And Suzette recognized that and put so much thought into the gifts. In addition to that, they sent me cuts of fabric, scissors, um, a beautiful elephant picture. I'm sure I'm forgetting things on that. It was so amazing. It was so overwhelming and I am still so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much ladies for that. So that was my absolute favorite memory. We are definitely doing the gift exchange again. That is also run through the Patreon page and it will take place next year. And I have the date for that already too. And then my next favorite um, memory of 2019 was the business collaboration slash mastermind group that we were able to form in September, October. Currently there are three members in that and that is the collaborators level at the Patreon page. That is for people who are really specifically looking to launch or expand their handmade business. So I realize that's not the majority of the people watching this video, but if you do want more information about that, please reach out to me because we are looking to grow that in 
2020. And we would love to work with anybody who's really serious about running an awesome handmade business and would benefit from that synergy that happens when creative minds come together and it is happening and it does work. So um, you don't have to doubt that because we have proven it in just a few short months. The growth in this group has been phenomenal. Then the next high point I have are the create period tees that my daughter Megan and I designed to raise money to replace the computer. We're not there yet, but I am very hopeful that we will have raised enough money in short order so that I can get a computer that has bigger um, hard drive on that and faster processor for editing the videos. In the meantime, I still have my trusty MacBook and it is holding up for us. I'm just trying to get one step ahead of that. And in regards to the Create Tees, now that I've got to make several of those and I've introduced the colors, which I know a lot of you are excited about, and the short sleeves, what I want to do, because the word create is such a powerful word, to me, really, it symbolizes all of life in one word. So I would love to know what the word create means to you and we're going to get a chance to find out every single month in 2020 because on the first Friday of every month in 2020 I am going to give away a custom create tee so you'll get to choose your color and your size so the first tee will be given away that first Friday in January. I'll tell you exactly how you enter to win. It's just going to be a mailing list. You'll put in your information and I'll draw one winner and announce them the following Friday. So I'm going to give away a total of 12 of the Create Tees in 2020. And then my next favorite memory, which actually hasn't transpired yet, is one of the patrons who took my very first master class, which there, there won't ever be an experience that compares to that first AMC group because so many friendships and bonds were forged and are still, we are all still so connected. So it'd be very difficult to ever match that. But one of the patrons in that group, Marissa, who I got to know very well and just simply adore, has launched a podcast. It is awesome. I'm going to put the link for you down in the notes. And she is going to be interviewing me on her podcast in 2020. The interview is going to take place in January. It's right around the corner. Uh, but it won't the episode won't actually air until the spring so when it does air of course I'll be sharing that link but in the meantime I've been getting ready for this podcast interview and you'll see if you check out Marissa's podcast that she is a wonderful host and she asks some really intriguing questions and she is seriously organized I told her I am very impressed with her layout and then she informed me that she's actually a professional organizer by trade, so that makes perfect sense. So um, Marissa is going to be talking to me about my why and my how of running this channel. And this was really interesting to me and I somewhat surprising how long I thought about this why and how because I give a lot of thought to the why and how of my handmade business, Watermelon Wishes. And when I had to stop and think about the why and the how for Sewspire, originally you remember it was to teach 10,000 women how to sew. And I feel confident that that has been accomplished because I hear from people on a weekly basis that they did not know how to sew, they bought their first sewing machine because of me, um, or they came back to sewing. And so I'm, I'm fairly confident with almost 44,000 subscribers that, that we have positively inspired at least 10,000 women to sew. So that first why was met a long time ago. And I don't think I ever hit the pause button to examine why am I still doing this? And just from a purely selfish perspective, 
obviously I'm doing this, um, I hope it's obvious, because it brings me so much joy. It really does. When we connect on our monthly live chats and I get to keep up with what everybody's doing on the Facebook group page and I see what you're making and I see how happy you're making people, that just makes me feel so good inside. So purely, purely selfish, I do it because I really love this and it makes me feel so good. But that's not a big enough why to go on a podcast. How long am I gonna talk about how good it makes me feel? So I knew I had to go a little bit deeper. And this underlying reason was there all along from the beginning and is definitely still my why I'm here today. I believe creativity is the key to happiness. Bottom line. If you are creative, and I, and it doesn't matter to me what you do, if you sew, if you paint, if you write, whatever, we could we could build a list from here to the moon about ways to be creative. If you have a creative outlet through that process, you will have the tools that you need to solve any problem or create anything that you want. So that's why I chose the word create for these t-shirts. It's a powerful word and it is my why. And so in 2020, I really want to keep coming back to that why to create. If you're creating, anything is possible. It's when we close down our imagination, when we close off the inspiration that we get off the path and we get into trouble. Okay. So I want to keep this happy, but I know a lot of you out there have gotten off your path have suffered and and I am there with you. In fact, that's what brought me to sewing was suffering. And I think a lot of people turn to creative outlets because of suffering. So maybe there'll be an opportunity for us to talk about that more in 2022 in a positive way, but in an empowering way. So I'm just gonna put a pin in that and we will come back to that. So I, have shared with you my why and then I would like to share with you what I've learned and this was also interesting and this is just what I've learned in 2019 um, I am this kind of person that requires a ton of flexibility like freedom rather more than flexibility I like I like flexibility a lot too but I require a lot of freedom which hence is why I hide up here on the third floor, surrounded by all of this creativity and just do my own thing, right? In some, way, in some respects, I'm like a rebel, I guess. Um, but I did not enjoy any of the series that we did. I did not like how I couldn't change my mind and I couldn't make something else and I had to stick to this plan. And so not that I didn't like the finished projects, I did, but I did not like being confined to a single topic. Um, so I'm not gonna do that in 2020. I am not gonna box myself in. I am really am gonna try to take very few requests because what I find is when I take requests for the tutorials, boom, there's that wall, that block, and then my creativity can't just flow. So to me, 2020 and this channel and you, it's all about flow, no boundaries, freedom, creativity. And if you'll just roll with me on this, I think next year when I make this video, wow might be the word for 2021. We will see, okay? Remember when I told you I want to synthesize the content is kind of unique. I don't know if anyone else is doing this. I really secretly hope I'm the first person to do this on YouTube. But if I'm not, I'm sure whoever's doing this will respect the process. Okay, so this is an artist's sketchbook. If you've taken my masterclass, you know how I feel about the design notebooks. I have hundreds of design notebooks that I work in for like two weeks, 
and then I set them aside. So not very disciplined with keeping a system for my designs. A lot of my designs are in my head and that's why I can build them so fast. But I do think it's important to document the process. And I do that through the videos, but I would like for all of us to attempt to document our creativity in 2020. All of it in one of these books, okay? Mine is just the Artist Loft brand. It's the eight and a half by 11. I chose the hardbound book. I got this at Michael's. You can choose any kind you want. I probably would not choose a spiral book just because I don't know if it will end up being durable enough for you. The reason I chose this exact book is because my daughter Megan is using one in her art class and it's a mixed media class and she is layering and layering the paint and the texture in this book and it is holding up really really well so i went with this one and what we're going to do is every single project that we make um, be it here at sospire or if i make it for my customers on etsy anything i do related to sewing is going to make it in this book it's going to be documented and I am going to be able to look back on it for inspiration. So for all the tutorials, I'll have a whole layout in this book that I will share with you to inspire your pages. So in a way, this cohesiveness that I'm creating here is going to serve as inspiration and a legacy for my work and for our creativity. So. I hope that you like this idea. This kind of marries my obsession with planners and originally my very first creative endeavor was scrapbooking. So I'm kind of coming back to those roots, all the way back to those roots, which is also interesting because this year Megan leaves for college in 2020 and we will just have Isabel at home. So the third bird, is fly in the coop and then I'm going all the way back to something that I did when they were tiny babies so this is like a scrapbook for my creativity and I want to encourage you to do the same so I want to give you a little sneak peek I haven't started much because I really want it to be primarily 2020 I am starting to work on the design for AMC I'm gonna give you a little peek at that because that will be my first actually there is another project in there but I can't show you that yet because we're gonna make it okay so this just gives you an idea of how it's gonna kind of come together so you would sketch out your vision for this I had some watercolor paints in here some pens um, I just use you know a ruler the drawings don't have to be perfect either and I suspect by the end of this year, my drawings will be a lot better that I will have actually improved as an artist as well. And then on this page, I'm gonna be keeping my notes. And as I start building it out, I'm gonna change my pen color and incorporate some other notes so that I know, oh, this is what I was originally thinking. This is how it actually worked out. And then I'm going to try and add swatches of the fabrics that I use as well, because I think that's just gonna be so fun. As they discontinue fabrics, I love to look back on them. So the fabric swatches will actually be like the equivalent of the photos in the scrapbook. But the drawings and the measurements and all of that, that's the legacy. So I think that this book right here is going to be extremely useful in 2020 and I am so excited to hear what you think about this like you know nobody likes change but let me know like or, and if if right away if you don't have a positive feeling about it think about it for like 24 hours and then let me know what you think about it or at least try it maybe right okay so let me get my little list back open here I wanted to go over the schedule with you um, as well so you have a good idea of what to expect with that this is the first time ever I've set the schedule for a year so I'm feeling good about that um, 
our tutorials, the actual sewing, which we're going to be doing plenty of, a lot more actually this year because no series, which means no big long breaks. Um, I'll have weekly tutorials, which will be published still on Tuesday. The only thing that's going to change with those is I'm going to publish them by noon instead of 9 a.m. Um, I think that would be a little better time to publish for the West Coast. So noon on Tuesdays, you'll get a new tutorial starting that first week in January, which I believe is January 7th. And then on Fridays at noon, I am going to publish either a blog post, a vlog, or a podcast. I have this really cool idea for a podcast that those of you, every now and then somebody will comment about my voice. And I think those of you that just like listening to me talk or find a creative environment and the sound of a sewing machine and the sound of a studio to be soothing, which I absolutely do, absolutely do, will love this podcast. So stay tuned for that and more details on that. But that's going to happen every Friday. So two events per week and everything that we sew together everything I sew in general is going to be in this book and I'm going to share with you and everything we sew together is going to be in this book and I'm going to try and be able to create like a printable for you all of the pages that are associated with the tutorials so I think that could be fun for you too so that's what's different there um, there's a lot changing for our patrons on the patreon page we are going to have sew alongs yeah uh, a longtime Patreon, longtime subscriber, like she thinks she might be one of the first subscribers to Sewspire. Angel is her name. Hello, Angel. She gave me this idea on our last regular chat. Here is Angel sewing away. She just propped her camera up and she is whipping out some heat bags. You know, the ones you put the rice in and you can make them hot or cold. Whipping them out, doing all kinds of stuff still conversing with us and sewing up a storm. So we're gonna do live sew-alongs and those sew-alongs are gonna take place on the third Friday of any month that AMC, the masterclass is not taking place. So I have the whole schedule for those dates and those are gonna be at 1 p.m. Eastern time. In total, there's gonna be seven sew-alongs and these will be small projects, that we can kind of collaborate on. We'll spend five minutes collaborating on the design and then we'll start sewing it. For those of you who actually want to get your machine, prop up your computer, I know a lot of the ladies are already in their sewing room. Um, you might be able to finish it on the chat and show it to us, but if you just want to watch other people sew, that's awesome too. So I'm really excited about that. Then the patron chats, which are our live chats that take place via video and Zoom, which is a video platform, are going to be moved to 7 p.m. And there will also be seven of those, and they will take place on the first Thursday of the month that there is no masterclass going on. And the reason I did that is because the master class is a four week program, which spans the whole month. And since we're going to do four of those, we'll be talking every single week of the master class. Plus I have the mastermind group for the business, which also meets weekly. So if I added in the sew along and the chat, that's an awful lot of chatting. Um, I don't think they want to see that much of me. They might disagree, but that's a lot of chatting. Okay, so the master class, back to that again, there's going to be one in January, April, July, and October. So in those four months, we will not have the sew along or the live chat, but we will still obviously be sewing and chatting. So I think we're covered there. And then just so you can mark your calendars and think about this because it was so much fun. The Marvelously Merry Gift Exchange is going to take place on Thursday, December 17th at 7 p.m. 2020. And you will have your little person that you're gonna make for, their name um, by Thanksgiving. So you're gonna have a lot of time to sew that project and then together we'll pick 
what we're going to make. Everybody makes the same thing and then you choose your own fabric and put your custom touches on it. So it worked out really nice. Yeah, so that is 2020. I hope it wasn't too much. I hope you're good with the design book. I hope you'll hang in there with me and see how this goes. I'm really excited about that. I hope you're excited about the word create and about the create tease. And I hope that you'll consider joining us on the Patreon page. It is a blast. There is no obligation whatsoever. And the worst case scenario is you're going to make some new friends. Okay. So if that's not your cup of tea, I will still see you here once a week for the sewing tutorial and then occasionally on Fridays for a vlog, but every Friday over on SoSpire.com for a blog post. The first tutorial of 2020 will be published on J Tuesday, January 7th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, as always, please know the creative genius in me will be celebrating the creative genius in you. Happy New Year, everyone!